Hello, Umut here. Welcome to another video. Today I am going to create another art journal. I am starting with uh, just getting rid of this uh, blank page. I am going to put a uh, tissue paper at the background. This is from Stamperia. It has a very beautiful vintage design with uh, dragonflies, uh, cloaks and uh, some music notes. Really nice and it will be lovely to have it at the background. And you will see later it will actually match with my focal points very well as well. I am cutting it uh, for my page and I am going to use mixed media glue again from Stamperia. This is the equivalent of a matte medium. I am just applying it to my page. Today I am working on a separate page uh, just to be able to uh, create as much as bulk I want uh, and texture. Here it is. I cut the excess from the page and the page I am using is a watercolor paper actually. It will take uh, whatever I apply on it. It's quite thick. And I am applying some thin gesso just to push this design to the background and make it a part of the background uh, rather than creating a lot of busy um, pictures, designs, uh, confusing with my focal points. Now I'm going to give some color. This is a, a spray from Stamperia again. It's very vibrant, uh, lovely, uh, a little bit darker than a coral uh, color. And I am going to do some splashes as well, uh, just to give some more interest. I'm going to dry it. What is amazing about this uh, spray is it doesn't move after you dry it. So whatever medium I apply on top, it's not going to smudge and smear. Uh, now it's time to apply some more interest with other colors. These are metallic colors from Stamperia and these are heavy body acrylic paints. So I'm using my uh, sponge roller uh, just to uh, create a nice texture on top of the color that I created. I'm using a white gold and a gold gold, darker gold uh, just to go over this uh, color. As you see, it uh, became very iridescent with all the colors that I applied. The spray was iridescent as well. And now I'm going to work on my focal point. I have these cloaks uh, stamps from Stamperia and also this uh, scrapbook uh, paper pad. It has amazing designs. Uh, I, flip, I did a, a very slow uh, flip through in my other uh, video which uh, I will link down below as well if you want to see this. It has uh, two of my favorite color combinations, uh, blues and browns and beige. I'm just stamping my cloaks on uh, one of the papers that I selected just for the cloaks to have a nice background already. And uh, I'm going to cover these cloaks with uh, again matte medium because I want to apply some uh, mediums on top color and it will make it uh, much easier to apply anything and if I don't like it I will be able to delete it yeah. and uh, I did some uh, splashes uh, with the color I used on my page that just to uh, bring them together I also went around these cloaks with uh, brown ink and now uh, I'm uh, sticking them on my page. I'm using foam tape and I am using two, three layers uh, as I move uh, among the cloaks. And uh, I'm sticking them on top of each other and it creates a nice dimension. I will also use these parts uh, of the cloaks just to stamp here and there to create some interest again with my browning. And here how it looks. I quite like it. I also have this dragonfly uh, stamp from uh, Stamperia. Uh, again I'm going to stamp it twice uh, to have uh, it as a focal point in addition to my clocks. And now you can understand why my tissue paper was also creating a nice scene because it had dragonflies and clocks as well. So uh, they go well uh, together. Uh, after I inked uh, the edges again with brown, 
Uh, I'm uh, giving some gold color to my dragonflies. I'm using this heavy body acrylic ink, uh, but I uh, splashed some water on it to make it more translucent so that it doesn't cover the beautiful design that this stamp has. And I sticked it with a glue dot on my clocks. I will stick the other later, you will see. I have this uh, beautiful alphabet stamp from Stamperia 2. It's like uh, handwritten and quite big. So I'm going to use uh, this stamp for part of my sentiments. And uh, I will print out the rest uh, in smaller letters. And you saw that I uh, sticked my dragonfly. Now I'm giving a border to my page with black ink, going around it very lightly just to give some definition. And I decided to give uh, some texture. This is glass paste uh, from Stamperia and uh, I'm going to take a little bit uh, and I decided to give color to this. It is like a transparent texture paste, however there are glass a little very small, uh, I can say it's like beads. Uh, very small particles in it that makes it more interesting you will see in the end from the pictures as well I just put some spray the same color I used at the background and I'm putting some uh, the gold color as well in uh, another part of it now I'm going to spread it uh, over my page behind my cloaks and uh, my dragonfly you will see the two colors here and there just to give some interest you can use this uh, text uh, paste for many purposes you can stencil it give color or use it uh, transparent totally so there are many uses for it and i will show you how it looks after it dries it doesn't take long to dry Here is my page. I will show you the texture. If you can see from the camera, you will see the pinks and the golds here. I really like it. And here is uh, again behind my dragonfly, mostly the pink. It creates a nice uh, interest and texture. And my sentiment goes with my page as well. Time is not measured by clocks but by moments. I really like it. I hope you enjoyed the video and the page. If you did, please don't forget to give me thumbs up down below or subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. You will find the full list of supplies down below at the description area or in my blog as usual. Thanks for watching and see you next time.